Hi, and welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. Today, I'm going to provide you with a tutorial in LumaFusion about my magic book. Remember in Harry Potter when he opened up the book and there were people that were smiling and moving in and out of the book and they would appear to Harry Potter and his friends? Well, in watching Harry Potter the other night, I thought to myself, can I do that? Can my video wizards do that? So this tutorial is the result of my magic book masking in LumaFusion. If you would be so kind as to subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel and please make sure you tickle that notification bell because then you'll be notified when I make new videos about LumaFusion. So let's get to it and I'll share with you how to do it. Now that you've created your project, you're going to bring your video down onto the timeline. The next step is to add an overlay title. Hit the plus and click overlay title and spread it out the length that you think you're going to need it. Now in my case, I'm going to have it go to just about where the book closes and that's all I need. Now double click to edit. You're going to now go to titles and where it says your text here, you want to use the garbage can to delete it. Go to the plus sign and add a shape. You're going to get a square and you're going to change the face color to the perfect green screen color, which is 00FF00. You can type in here as well. Now we will resize the green screen to match the book and the opening of the book when it is opened. To make it a little easier to mask, I'm going to actually stretch the main video, the top and the bottom of the book, using the size Y to make it taller than the video. This will allow for easier masking in the final project. Now I'm going to double click on the overlay title, the green screen, go to my shape, and I'm going to make sure it's sized to the point where the book where it's totally opened. And I want to match everything up here. So this involves some rotation, pulling it down so it's longer. You can either rotate it with your fingers. You can do what I'm better at, and that is using the rotation button on the bottom, and then you move it to match. To get a nice match with my overlay, I'm going to go up to the face color and bring the opacity down so I can get a better look at what's underneath so I can match it up evenly. Because this is an odd angle, I'm going to duplicate the shape I have and adjust it accordingly to fit the space that I could not fill in the original. I'm going to speed this adjustment up. Now you can see that it matches all the edges and we have two pieces. So we're going to go back to each of these shapes and change the opacity back to 100%. Now tap the back button and go to the main timeline and make sure your green screen covers everything you want. On the main timeline, we're now going to duplicate our video and move it on top of the green overlay we just created. Double click to edit. Now you're going to frame and fit and cropping. You're going to move to the beginning of the video. You're going to roll it forward till you get to where the book starts to open. And this is where we're going to use the cropping on the right side to adjust the video you can see as it comes in, we're just going to start matching it up with the book using advance forward. I hit it about three times. Then I use the right slider to adjust it to match the book's edge and the green screen. And then I just continue on. So we'll speed this process up now. Once I get the first part of the adjustment down, I'm now going to go to the very end and move that right slider all the way to the edge here so it matches up where I want it to end. This way the motion is actually moving toward the goal as I start doing my adjustments. The green screen is moving with the book and I can use the right side back and forward and the slider to match the book up a little easier and I just continue forward this way. I'll speed up the process now for you to watch. Now what we're going to do is reverse this process. We're going to come forward to the part where we start to close the book and we're going to reverse this. So we're going to make a crop mark at the very end where we close it first. So I've gone all the way to the end where I've closed it 
bring over my right crop till there's no more green showing. Step forward one more step and then move the entire video off the screen. Now we're going to go back and continue the backwards edit doing the same steps using the right to go in reverse. So now we're going to step forward where it starts to close and now we use the right slider again to match up the book to the green screen. You will continue these steps until the book is closed. We'll now speed up the process. Once you're finished, you want to go to the main timeline and roll over to make sure you haven't missed anything. So double check your work and look for white from the book to bleed in. Now that we've made our adjustments, we're going to go back and we're going to go to the bottom to save our video. Save our movie at the highest level. In this case, I'm going to save it as 4K, 30 frames a second and 75 quality. Now that we've saved our movie, I actually go out and start a new project. I like a clean project. I don't want to go in and delete everything that I made on this timeline because I may still have to go back and make adjustments. So I just go in and create a new project that's nice and clean. Name it whatever you want. Now I'm going to bring that video I just created onto the main timeline. Then I'm going to move it up to the next timeline. Now because I have an entry with my opening a book, I'm going to grab a main title. Now I'm going to double click on that main title, go into titles and delete your text here. That'll leave me with just a blank video to work with. Now we will adjust the ending of that blank title to where the book starts to open and the green begins. Now I'm going to bring in my dragon video onto the main timeline track underneath the green screen. Now I'm going to tap on the green screen video, edit it, and go to color and effects, go to keying, and go to green screen key. Now you want to adjust your green screen by using the sliders for hue, saturation, and brightness. Once I have those settings, I'm going to roll through the entire video very slowly to check and make sure I don't have any bleeding in the video green as I roll it forward and back in the opening and closing. This may need some adjustments at certain points where you may need to add some more keyframes. Now you could add any video into here. You could have a spell book in here. And this is just the beginning of some great ideas for masking. I can't wait to see your videos in LumaFusion. Whoa, that was cool. Now you can do all kinds of things in your magic book. You could, you could make like spells or you could have someone moving in and out of the magic book. The sky's the limit. And I can't wait to see what you video wizards create in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial in LumaFusion. And please take a moment to subscribe to the Peppy Techie. Smash the like button if you found value in this magical work and leave a comment down below. You know, if you have an idea or a problem or just want to leave a magical comment, I look forward to hearing from each and every one of you. Some of the best and most watched videos that I've created have come from the needs and ideas from my viewers and subscribers left in the comments. So thanks and thank you for watching. And remember, success is not just about what you accomplish in your life. It's about what you inspire others to do with theirs. Thank you and have a wonderful day.